Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Chose Reviews where I bring you review every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And today, we'll be talking about Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Remastered, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, Campaign Remastered. It is a free PlayStation Plus uh, game of the month this month along with Fall Guys. I feel like it's being really overshadowed by Fall Guys. And I like to just kind of let you guys know what games are free by reviewing them. Um, but overall, this video is going to be, I'm going to kind of talk about myself and how I do these reviews and not how I do them, but how I look at games and how I look at Call of Duty especially. And there's a reason why, like, my channel has a lot of, like, reviews that are 7s and 8s. Um, it's because I like, I like we're playing games that I like, like, I know are going to be good. Eventually, I might get to shittier games or I might stumble across one that I accidentally, like, you know, stumble across. But you really, it's just, um, it's just games that I've really wanted to get interested in franchises. Uh, and then, you know, back when I was younger, like 13, 14, like everyone else, all I did was play Call of Duty. And I feel like I wasted so much time back then. Uh, I mean, you waste time now just playing games, but like, you know, Joe Rogan saying it's a waste of time. I feel like, I almost feel like that's kind of true when it comes to multiplayer games. I mean, not to hate anyone, I know a lot of my, you know, the few people who watch my videos probably play multiplayer games. I do too. I still do. But I feel like those are more like a waste of time because you could be playing Call of Duty for 10 years and still be playing Call of Duty. But when it comes to single player games, you know, you're, you're experiencing at least a new story, new characters, development, maybe a new lesson, and then you go on to another story, you know? So that's why I've really fallen into love with single player games. And I, do, I'm here, I am here to play a Call of Duty campaign. This is my second Call of Duty I've reviewed. I'm only reviewing the campaigns of these Call of Duties. This one only came with the campaign. And this is the one Call of Duty that I would want a, a, a multiplayer to come with. Um, this is my favorite Call of Duty of all time. At least it was. It's the one I grew up on, Modern Warfare 2. Uh, that's, that being said, I'm still not going to love this review or this game. Because Call of Duty is probably one of the the one game series that just is so bad as time goes on like looking back like this was my favorite call of duty and it is i guess but um you know it's just aged horribly it doesn't have its multiplayer like it's the one game everyone wants multiplayer on i know why they wouldn't do it because it's i guess it wouldn't be very competitive but that was before games were esports and competitive we used to do uh gbs you know game lobbies or game battles you know go on websites and host the shit ourselves instead of all these big corporations and companies and we didn't care about the game being balanced. We just got a game and that was it. It didn't get updates all the fucking time. It came out as a product and got sold and that was it. And uh, I know I just sound like a boomer right now. But it's just how I miss... That's that's what I miss uh, most games being. Like Borderlands 3, for example. Borderlands 3 is the first review on my channel. I loved that game and its story. But they kind of ruined that game. Uh, some of the characters updating it. Becoming a live service. And nerfing builds because they didn't fix the build before the game even came out. So it's, it's just, it, that's so annoying to me that you think you could just release a game and then add updates to it later. Obviously, live services, Call of Duty Warzone has been popping off, but I don't know. I could talk about how much I don't like Call of Duty as just a company, as a practice, as a releasing every year title. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's just a sports game, but in a shooter. Like, if shooting was sports, it's just that. That's all Call of Duty is. Warzone's added the Battle Royale thing. I mean, I guess that's cool. My friends play it all the time. I hate it. But, um, but I don't know, enough about that rant. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, I mean, that's why I kind of just wanted to rant in this video because there's not much to talk about uh, when it comes to the remasters in Call of Duty. Um, for one, I don't think they need remastered yet, unless you're going to remake the, the multiplayer, like in COD 4. Uh, but I played COD 4 Remastered as well, and I do want to do a video on that, basically saying the same shit I'm saying now, but liking it a little bit even less because I like Modern Warfare 2 campaign a little bit more. Um, but, like... <coughs> This game also used to have spec ops, but I don't know. Call of Duty, this Call of Duty is so fun. At least it used to be, especially in the multiplayer. It has every gun felt broken, you know. Well, like, you know, it was, every gun was so strong. It was, it was good, you know, it was fun. You could get nukes with anything, whether it be your secondaries, a Kimbo, or your primary with a noob tube on it, you know. Um, people love guns like ACR with no recoil. The UMP-45 was the sweatiest gun in the world for years. Um... And yeah, just I think this Call of Duty also had the best match. I think one thing that's really... There's two things in Call of Duty that has fallen off over the years. One is in-game voice chat. You know, you can't just talk shit in-game anymore. I guess you can go to search and hope people go to game chat. Uh, but you have to hope people go to game chat. It's not forced anymore. That is a stupid move, and it is forever brought the... I mean, I guess it gets rid of the toxicity, and it, it goes towards the competitive market of, of not being toxic. 
but that's not what casual players i mean i think i would love to go into search and talk shit maybe people still do that and i'm sure they do but it's not as consistent as it used to be you know every lobby used to meet some new people to talk shit to now it's like eh, you know get lucky once in a while um also yeah the maps i think called uh, modern warfare 2 especially had every map uh, all the maps are good at least they used to be in the campaign i don't know why i'm talking about the camp or the multiplayer because uh it's not even here but, you know, this this game had, like, the best maps of all time. Every map, Terminal, High Rise, Rust. Those three maps are better than any Call of Duty map to ever come afterward. Every other Call of Duty had a decent map. Like, Modern Warfare 3 had Dome. And Black Ops 2 actually had a lot of good maps, too. I like Black Ops 2 a lot, too. But anyway, to this game, to give it its, its credit, I mean, the story's all right. But it's just a remaster that is so early. It doesn't need a remaster. The visuals are a little bit better, but you can't tell shit. The story doesn't change at all, obviously. It's still just six hours long. Um, cars randomly explode and kill you like in every Call of Duty. Uh, you get really red screen and your camera shakes heavily when you get shot. I've always hated that. But as an FPS story, the story is kind of con convoluted in my opinion. Like, at least when I was younger and I played this, the whole no Russian mission, you know, this is game is famous for the just mowing people down in an airport. Um, I like didn't really realize why that happened or what happened. And I had to have my friend sit and explain it to me. Maybe I'm just stupid, but, um, it just like... They overcomplicate kind of the story by just putting you in these loading screens to get to the next mission and kind of monologuing the story to you. Uh, so, you know, it, it's just like the story is whatever. Obviously, that's with every Call of Duty. I guess they kind of focus on story now, especially World War II focused on way more story even than this game. This game has story, but it's more about the characters like Soap, Roach, and Captain Price and Ghost. Uh... I wonder what it would be like to play like COD 4 Modern Warfare Remastered, this Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, and the Modern Warfare that just came out with all these characters and see their story fully. Uh, maybe I'll review all three of those games eventually and you can check them out and see how I compare them. This is obviously a rough start because I'm just talking about everything in this broad ass video. I just thought I'd sit down and kind of rant to you guys. I don't think this video will get any views anyway just because, you know, it's Call of Duty and, you know, it's just not popular right now. At least Modern Warfare 2 Remastered is it. But anyway, overall... I think this game is just a waste of time. They shouldn't have remastered it. Um, I mean, it's, it's a cool... It's probably one of the best Call of Duty campaigns there ever has been. But it's still just an average-ass FPS call... Like, average campaign. It's, they've always been an average campaign. Call of Duty's never had an above and beyond campaign. Sometimes they don't even have campaigns anymore. But it's six hours long of action-packed, kind of challenging gameplay, even in this one. This one's a bit challenging. Uh, but sometimes it feels unfair. And it's just, you know, if you played this back in the day, there's no reason to buy it now. You might as well pick this up for free. Do you want to play it? If you want those easy, like, 15 trophies to run through the campaign, then play it. If not, don't. It's not really that... It's It doesn't need to be remastered right now. I mean, Call of Duty makes the weirdest decisions. The only reason this game should have been remastered is if it came with a uh, multiplayer that is up-to-date today. And it didn't. So, there's just... It was just a cash grab. And, you know, here I am playing it for free. Uh, so, yeah. My final verdict on this is going to be a 6 out of 10. Um, just just the whole, I mean, like I said in the beginning of this video, I give a lot of 7s and 8s uh, to games that I've liked, you know, 9s. I have a ton of videos where I review games that I love. And even a 6 is not a bad uh, review. This is probably my highest rated Call of Duty. I do not like the Call of Duty franchise anymore. And I think it's aged very poorly. I used to love it, trust me. I think we all loved it. But I think it's aged one of the worst franchises ever. Um, I guess it's making a comeback with Modern Warfare and Warzone. But I'm not hopping on that train. I think everyone should try to play some single-player games. Uh, you know, boomer, that, that boomer mentality. <laughs> just, get, just get some new stories in your life. Play some God of War if you never have. Just trust me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't hate me. Just like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.